I've been uh, machining this brake rotor on my uh, vintage scatter lathe, but uh, I couldn't get it to sit uh, flush in the chuck. Um, it didn't really matter because it's only a practice piece. But I got the feeling that there might be something wrong with the uh, chuck jaws. And if that is the case, then that needs to be fixed before I can start turning the uh, rotors from my vintage car. So let's set up an indicator and see what we got. But before I start, let's um, do some housekeeping. Yeah, that will have to do for now. I cleaned the uh, steps on the jaws. Uh, they were a little bit dirty. Some fly rust and uh, some baked on crud. Uh, remember this is a very old shock. It might be uh, 80 years old. Now let's uh, find out if all these uh, steps are on the same height or uh, on the same plane. 20 uh, 19. The dial indicator is upside down. Uh, 15 and a bit. And going up to 18. So that's a little bit higher. Number 2. 19. 18. So they are definitely not all on the same uh, height. Let's uh, find out what happens when I uh, chuck up a piece of uh, scraptonium. That's 11-ish. about eight ten going up eleven no. Twelve going down well that doesn't make uh, much of a difference so it uh, looks like this chuck can definitely use a little bit of a tune-up and for that uh, I'm hoping to use my little uh, uh, pencil air die grinder that I also used uh, for truing up a uh, collar chuck Unfortunately, that wasn't a great success, but we will see how this goes. I've been uh, trying to find a setup for my uh, air die grinder, and I believe I have it figured out. But when it comes to uh, questionable setups, this one is probably off the scale. It has all the ingredients to go terribly wrong. But I believe it uh, will work. Or maybe I'm just feeling lucky today. Let me uh, bring you in closer. So, about half of the uh, holder for the grinder is uh, hanging over the uh, tool post. It is also no longer on center height because of the uh, cloth. And, uh, the cloth is held away from the chuck jaws by a piece of string and uh, some square stock. The uh, jaws get uh, awfully close to the uh, holder over here and almost touch the grinder over here. 
and uh, the stone gets really close to the uh, inside of the chuck jaws but it should just clear it the stone is also not really parallel with the uh, chuck jaws but uh, once it wears down that uh, shouldn't really matter but, but maybe it's a good idea to throw up the stone before I start uh, grinding the jaws Well, it's barely touching, so let's try this. I've been slowly advancing the cross slide, uh, moving from the outside to the inside, and this is how far I've uh, gotten. But it is no longer uh, sparking, and I guess, uh, or I am afraid that uh, the stone might be wearing uh, too quickly. But um, I'll put some sharpie on here, and then uh, I will try again. As you can see that uh, pass took off the slightest amount of material. The other jaws uh, were not touched. Second uh, pass finished, and this is how uh, jaw number one looks now. The stone that I'm using is a piece of shit because you can see uh, on this side here the uh, dark part, there's uh, chunks missing. And if you look at uh, jaw number two and three, two and three. They were only ground uh, halfway, and then it stopped. Almost like uh, the grinder moved, or maybe uh, the uh, stone uh, is wearing too much. Well I tried but uh, the noise and the uh, randomness is totally driving me insane. Uh, one moment it's uh, grinding then it's not and the uh, biggest problem is uh, probably the inconsistent speed I'm getting. It is hunting uh, up and down and that has an effect on the run out of the stone and that in turn uh, affects the depth of the grinding. I also have an issue with uh, water as you can see. Maybe uh, that is causing the uh, grinder to uh, speed up and down. I don't know. 
other things like uh, actual play or play on the slides might also have an effect on the uh, precision. Now I'm going to uh, run a stone over the uh, surfaces and uh, uh, set up a test in the gear. See what I got. It'll probably be uh, terrible. I cannot imagine that uh, I got a good result, although it doesn't feel too bad. Stoning uh, the surfaces really shows off the high spots. As you can see the uh, result is actually better than expected. Although the uh, surface of the jaw is a little bit bumpy. But I might be able to improve that by honing it a little bit more. But if I'm ever going to grind the uh, uh, the inside jaws, the ones that are bell mouthed, I will be looking for another tool because I pretty much had it with this uh, air die grinder. It's so freaking random. Although the problem might be my uh, air compressor. But I certainly had enough of that uh, whining noise and uh, and rattling air compressor sound. I'm glad this is over because I really had it with this uh, project. Anyway, that's it for me. To be continued at some point.